Hi everybody, um, this is my first video in a long time so I'm a little bit rusty. Um, one of my most popular videos is a review for a Philips epilator. Now I loved that, um, it was like the best epilator in the world until now. Um, a few months ago I got an email from Gemma at Braun asking if I'd like to try the new epilator from them. So I said yes of course. Um, this is it, this is the Silk Epil 7 Skin Spa. Um, I'll just read about the back. Um, it's got close grip technology with 40 tweezers, so it removes hair even as short as a grain of sand. Uh, a high frequency massage system, so it stimulates the skin and it's great for pain relief. Uh, a pivoting head to get all the awkward areas like your knees and backs of the legs. A smart light so you can um, see the hairs as you're epilating. Now one thing that makes this different about um, different two other epilators is this. This is um, a brush, a body brush, and it's pivoted. It's got sonic technology, more than 3,000 micro vibrations per minute exfoliate your skin four times more effectively than a manual treatment one. And it's got 10,000 fine, bris fine bristles, which gently sweep away dead skin and stimulates the regeneration of the skin's surface. So basically, if you use this before and after epilating, you are not going to get any um, ingrown hairs. Now the thing with waxing and epilating is you do tend to get a lot of ingrown hairs after a while and there's nothing you can do about them, you can just exfoliate them and just hope for the best. With this, massively reduces them. Um, I probably get like two, maybe three every now and then now where this just lifts them up out of the skin and it's just, it just really just makes it just makes for a better exfoliating experience, um, better um, epilating experience because it's just your, your skin's smoother, the hairs lift out easier. It's just really, really great. Um, I'll just I'll talk about that in a minute actually. So this is the epilator. It's nice and white, fits nice in the hand. Um, there's your pivoting head. It's uh, two speeds. And I'll just switch that on. And there's your smart light. It's a wet or dry epilator, so you can use it in the bath, in the shower, or you can just use it dry. I like to use it dry because I just find it easier. I have like a little routine and I just I like that. It's whatever you prefer. If you if you're quite new to epilating, you might want to use it in the shower because you know the um the steam will really help, you know, open your pores and make it a lot less painful. Not that it's really painful anyway. Um so this is the head. Oh, because it's wet or dry, this all just comes apart quite easily and you just clean it, just run it under a tap and then you're good to go. So this is the head and we'll switch it on. And it's just really, really soft. It's not harsh, it's not harsh, um, you know, it's not going to scratch your skin. It's just really, really nice, soft bristles and it's just, it's almost like a... Um, it's like it's like pampering really it's just really really nice I mean you could probably even use it on your face if you wanted to um, but I like to use it dry as well so it's really good to like get the circulation going um, so it's really different compared to so many epilators on the market I've never seen any with a brush like this never um, it all comes in a little tote bag you get a little brush to clean it with and then you get two um, attachments these are really great if you want to do underarms or um, bikini area, uh, face even, you know, fantastic for that. So, we're just going to compare this to my old epilator. So, this is the size, massive difference. Now, listen to the sound, right? Okay, compare it to this. That sounds like someone's working in the garden. This is just fantastic. This one I used to have to turn the TV up or turn the music up really loud. With this you can happily watch TV while you're um, doing your legs, doing your underarms, whatever. You can happily do that. The main difference between the two is the pain. Um, the pain and the, um, the smoothness. I don't feel a thing with this. Um, usually the bottoms of your um, ankles and the back of your legs, those are the really painful parts. Um, it's quite sensitive there but this I really don't even flinch it's fine it doesn't hurt at all I mean I don't know if it's because I've been epilating for quite a many quite a few years now but honestly I don't feel it where this one it's still you know when I have used it it's still you know it still pulls the hairs quite hard 
Um, I get a lot less breakages with this too. Um, I think it's really good for the baby hairs, which, you know, the, as, as you know, like when you're pulling hairs out, they get weaker and weaker over time, where sometimes epilators or waxing kind of um, just break the hairs off. Well, this seems to get the little hairs out, so I'm a lot smoother for longer. Um, I find that usually the best thing to um, do is to epilate your legs, use the brush afterwards to um, get, bring up any um, dead hairs or anything, get any um, ingrown hairs up and then the next day I'll go over my legs any hairs that have come up and I'll probably go over my legs like again the day after and then I'll have smooth legs for like a really good couple of weeks. So it's really really good if you're going to go on holiday because you won't need to take anything with you. Um, so let's have a, right, a few things. This is not available to buy in the shops yet. You can buy it on Amazon. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's not available anywhere else. Um, they're hoping to get it into Boots in July, um, and it should retail at about £150. But obviously there will be some sort of deals on with that. Um, you think £150 is a lot, but when you think about how much you spend on razors, or how much you spend on creams, or um, waxing, over time it's not a lot really, because... I mean, when I first started epilating, I had a really, really cheap £30 one, and it was agony. I used to um, come away bleeding, it, it would scratch my skin, and it, was just, it wasn't very nice. And I can understand where all the nightmare stories come from, because I think they generally come from people who's using quite cheap epilators. But where this one, I think, is quite a good epilator if you're starting, um, if you're just starting out and you want something quite um, less scary, because I think the noise puts people off as well. Where this is really gentle and it's just it's just really great. I, I mean, I use I've used this one is redundant now. I've not used this since I've had this one, so um, so that's it. Um, I can't think of anything else that I need to say. Um, so that's it. That's um, the new epilator. Um, I love it. If you see it, definitely worth trying. You know, definitely worth um, trying it. And if you um, happen to see it on offer, I would pick it up. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye bye.